download and install BIOS in VMware Workstation. In this video, we are going to take a look at a couple of points. First of all, how to download BIOS framework and how you can install this BIOS framework inside the virtual machine, which is VMware, that we are going to learn here in this video. So, first of all, uh, you need to download BIOS inside your operating system and then we need to create a new virtual machine inside VMware Workstation. So let's see that how we can download BIOS inside our system. So guys, I'm here at google.com inside my main operating system and I will show you that how you can download BIOS. So you can simply type here download BIOS and hit enter. So you can see here that BIOS is an open source Linux based OS for routers and firewalls. So to perform router pen testing, firewall pen testing, we can use BIOS. So this is the official website of BIOS, BIOS.io. So click here and open this website. And it is an open source, so it is a free one. So this is BIOS. So what is BIOS? BIOS is an open source operating system and uh, that can be installed on physical hardware or a virtual machine. So we have a virtual machine VMware. So we are going to install BIOS on your server or cloud platform etc so it is kind of router that we can use for pen testing all right these are the features available inside it but we are going to use very limited one because we are going to use it as a router all right so you can click on downloads you can see the stable version is available here right so you can click on stable version and here it is redirecting to our so from inside this list you can download the ISO right so this is the second one is right BIOS 1.1.8 AMD 64.ISO which is around 230 MB file so we need to download this ISO file inside our system great so you can click here and here you can download that 230 MB file inside your system click save file click OK and this file is going to download inside my system so guys I have already downloaded that BIOS version and here you can see that this is BIOS available inside my D drive right so this is the if you can see in the property this is a 230 MB file right and uh, this is ISO and now I'm going to show you that how you can install it or run it inside the virtual machine or VMware so you can open the your virtual machine so this is my virtual machine VMware workstation and uh, to create a new virtual machine you can simply click on file click on new virtual machine typical next and uh, here you can select the BIOS here the BIOS click next you can change the name from here that virtual machine name so I can type BIOS and you can also change the location that way you want to save the files of BIOS so I'm going to save it inside my C drive because you can change it to any other drives you want click next so I have already this path so I need to change my path so for example let me change it with BIOS 1 click next and uh, you can provide it 20 GB that's more than enough click store virtual disk as a single file click next and uh, now you can click finish so this is BIOS and uh, now it is trying to install inside our virtual machine so you just need to wait here it is an automatic process you don't need to do anything you can see here that it is starting the BIOS inside my and here you can see that I got the welcome message that welcome to BIOS BIOS TTY1 BIOS login so uh, I want to tell you that the login and the password of BIOS is actually BIOS login username is BIOS as well as the password is BIOS so you can type here VYOS click inside the screen and then type VYOS and hit enter the password is also same VYOS alright and hit enter so you can see that you are 
in the terminal of VYOS. So we have successfully downloaded and installed VYOS inside our Kali Linux operating system. Right, so VYOS has been downloaded inside our system. So this is a simple process to download and install it inside your system. So now uh, we are going to use VYOS to perform router pen testing inside this section. So I hope uh, you have learned that how to use VYOS inside the virtual machine or VMware workstation. And uh, we will resume from here in the next video. And I will show you that how you can start some services inside VYOS because we have already logged in in the VYOS. So now we need to start some services. We need to set up the IP address inside VYOS and then we need to connect it with the Kali Linux so that we are going to cover in the next video. So this is all about the installation procedure and in the next video we are going to learn how you can start services inside this router. Thank you.